Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over our pricing structure and what it costs, what's included, and high level how it works. So to get started to view our pricing, you can simply go to NoviSign.com and hit the pricing tab. It will take you here. Uh, once here, you'll see three options. First one here says evaluation. That is a full 30-day trial of the system. Again, it is free. No credit card is needed. Second option here is a $20 a month plan, and that is per screen. And the third one says partner contact. That is basically our white label program that we have set up for resellers. Now, with our $20 plan, it's a all-in type of setup, meaning all of our widgets, playlists, scheduling reports, and monitoring is included. Um, I'm going to go over real quick some of the different things that we have so you can kind of see what you're paying for, what you're getting type of scenario. Um, for starters with NoviSign, we have over 200 customizable templates that are included. What is the benefit of a template? Well, it helps you get your content put together a lot faster. As far as the types of templates, as you can see, we've got lots of different options and uh, styles. So here's stuff with, say, corporate communications. Uh, we got menu boards. We've got stuff for dentists, retail, advertising, healthcare. Um, then we've got stuff here for schools, elementary, middle, high school, more menu boards, chalkboard style. Then we've got here an entire collection of holiday templates that have motion backgrounds, uh, three-day forecasts, five-day forecasts. So long story short, having these templates definitely will help make it easier for you to put together your content. Aside from the templates, we have over 25 different widgets that are included with the system. All of them are drag and drop, meaning you simply drag and add them to the content. Um, as far as what we have, you can add images, you can add image, uh, images, text, videos, slideshows that consist of images, videos, and text, scrolling tickers, RSS feeds, media RSS feeds, YouTube, you can add Ustream, weather, clocks, countdown, shapes, a web page, web image, web videos, sync it with an FTP to display content uh, from an FTP. Uh, we support touchscreen, so you can natively create touchscreen uh, interfaces without coding or HTML needed. Uh, template within a template, Twitter and Instagram widgets. We have a virtual queue widget. You can incorporate Yammer uh, from, uh, from your account and sync it up with the screen. Then we have M3U8 feeds. You can, add, you can sync it with your Adomni or VSTAR account uh, for advertising networks. We have a calendar widget that natively syncs with Office 365 for real-time event updates um, that are coming from the calendar. Uh, we also have a dashboard that lets you uh, display KPI, uh, KPI metrics in the format of charts, pies, and graphs. We also have a table widget, a stop-and-go stop entrance widget, and HTML. And to add something here, let's just say we want to start with weather. Click and drag, then I can type in my location. And assuming we spell it correct, it will populate here. Once it's populated, I am going to change it to Fahrenheit. Then you've got control over the color, the font size, the style as well. I can uncheck if I don't want conditions. Then say if I wanted to add YouTube, click and drag for YouTube, copy and paste your YouTube video, and there it is. And let's say I wanted to add an image, click and drag my image. As far as the file types that we support, all of your standard stuff, so PNGs, JPEGs, PowerPoint slides, PDFs, uh, MP4 videos, uh, whatever you have, you simply upload them from your computer. And, for example, here it is. Done. There we go. Um, we do also include a full library of over 2 million photos, illustrations, and vectors. They're either going to be 4K resolution or 1080p. And if you want to find something, you simply type in what you're looking for and pop up here. So it makes it very, very quick and easy to search for things and find things. Uh, another nice thing is illustrations. You can find some nice clip art style stuff here under the business category. Um, we do also have a built-in image uh, editor as well. So once you've selected it, you can add things to the image. So let's say if you want to throw some text in there. You just simply double click on it, 
you can change the color. So maybe it's red, and then I can change you know, the text. Let's go team and hit upload, and there it is. Um, another really quick one before we move on is going to be the RSS. RSS is going to be a scrolling a ticker of news. As far as the feeds, we've got ABC, Al Jazeera, BBC, BBC World, CNBC, CNN, um, all the different ES, all the ESPN channels. So you can sync it MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL Soccer, uh, NBC, New York Times, NRG, Reuters Health, Reuters Entertainment, Reuters Sports, Top News, Sky News, Washington Post. And these are all included for free. And notice how I'm customizing every single component of it. Other companies do not have this flexibility or control. Trust me. Try, sign up for the other other companies' trials. See how easy it is for you to create it. It's not going to be as easy as NoviSign. And I'm just quickly putting something together here. It's very, very easy. Then, as you can see, I've got a preview button. Oh, and before I forget, it. if someone asks if you want your quarter pound as cheese. Now, if I wanted to change the background, simply hit the background, and there we go. All right. So, aside from the templates that are included, aside from the widgets that are included, we have a playlist. What is a playlist? Well, a playlist is going to be your, your content that you want to play onto the screen. Um, as far as how it works, uh, you can schedule stuff out. You can tell things to play on specific times, uh, set recurring schedules like expiration dates. So let's say, for example, I want the second one to play um, on the 23rd, stop on the 24th, and then I can drill it down 4 o'clock to 4 o'clock, start and stop. Um, I can also set recurring schedules, so like day parting or if you have a specific meeting every single day at a specific time, you want to set a, 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 like a um, notification, you can do that. Um, you can also drill it down, so say every Tuesday and Wednesday you have a specific piece of content to play. Uh, long story short, very simple to do your scheduling, a lot of control, and then if you wanted to uh, schedule how long you want each slide to play, from a duration standpoint, simply click on the lower left here where it says duration, I'm going to change that to 20, there you go, and then I can drag and drop the sequence around. Um, so the playlist, very straightforward, easy to do. Um, another really nice thing is going to be our reports dashboard. Basically what this is, is it views, gives you the status of all the screens. So you've got your screen name, you can view the playlist, uh, you can actually hit play and see what's playing on the screens. Uh, the download status, so when it downloaded content last, and then it's color coded here on the left. So basically black means it's not connected to the internet, red, yellow, green uh, means it's connected just at a different time frame. Then if I hit this little globe, I can see bird's eye view where my screens are located. I can move it around, zoom in, put my mouse over, and it tells you the name of it. Um, outside of that, we do have different uh, proof, of, proof of play analytics uh, reports. It gives me the, the type of file that played, how many times it played, the total time, how many, time, how many devices it played across. Um, so again, this monitoring dashboard is included with the $20 a month plan. Um, outside of the plans themselves, you will need a, a TV. From a TV standpoint, it doesn't really matter the size of the brand or if it's smart TV or not. At the end of the day, TV is a TV. If you want to use a commercial grade screen, go for it. It really doesn't matter. Okay. If you have a TV that's existing, just use that one. It doesn't really, no big deal. Um, also, you will need a media player. What is a media player? Well, a media player is a small little box that connects to the TV through HDMI. NoviSign runs on Chrome, Windows, and Android. From a media player standpoint, we always suggest going with Android. Why Android? Well, first of all, very, very cost effective from a media player side of things. You can get them for 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, plus, our app for Android was one of the first apps that was written for Android. Um, we were one of the first companies nine years ago to release it. What is the benefit of that? Well, we have a very stable app, never really crashes like that. All of the content caches locally onto the device. So if the internet drops, your content's still going to run. And the best thing of all, you can download each one of our apps onto your device. So if you have Chrome, 
you can download our NoviSign app from the Chrome OS Store. If you have a Windows device, 7 or up, you can simply install our software onto the device for free. And if it's Android, you can download our NoviSign app from the Google Play Store. As you can see here on the bottom, this is just a quick customer review. And, uh, you know, large company, 5 out of 5 stars. And um, they're running on Android, I believe. From a media player standpoint, this device here is 40 bucks. Android, you can get it on Amazon. If you're looking to get something that's going to be a little bit higher, higher end with the commercial grade three year warranty, this device here by Genia Tech, 99 bucks, four inch by four inch by one inch box, comes preloaded with no design for plug and play use. Plus, best of all, comes three year warranty. Now, back to the pricing side of things. So again, 30 day trial, that's free. Second plan is $20 a month. That is $20 a month per screen. Now, from a what's included with that from a storage standpoint, the $20 gets you 500 megabytes, 100 megabytes for file upload, and 10 file conversions. Number one question that we get from customers are what are file conversions? Well, it's simple. If you're uploading, say, a PowerPoint file or an Excel, that's going to convert. That's considered a conversion, so it's going to convert it. And it, easiest workaround, if you're doing PowerPoints, just simply save the PowerPoint as a PNG and upload it. Now, if you're getting a couple of screens, all of this information, or, or storage rather, pulls together. So if you're getting, say, two, two licenses, you would get a total of one gigabyte storage. We'd increase the file upload size to 300 megabytes. You'd get triple the amount of file conversions as well. Now, if you're getting, say, three, five, six, seven screens, don't worry about the $20 a month. We will work with you on pricing, discount things down. Um, we're not sticklers on price. We want to make sure that uh, you know you're you're getting the best value, the best price, and best service. So you know if you have 20 screens, 100 screens, don't worry about it. We'll sit down. We'll work with you on pricing. We'll get you a price that you feel is fair and fit, and so everyone is happy at the end of the day. So best way to get started would be to sign up for the free 30-day trial. Again, there's no credit card needed. If you have additional questions about pricing, if you're looking for a quote-unquote enterprise uh, type of plan, you know, a couple hundred licenses, again, we will work with you on that from a pricing standpoint, um, answer all of your questions. Uh, you could send us an email, info at novisign.com anytime, and feel free to sign up for the trial. Thank you for taking a look at Novisign, and we look forward to working with you soon.